Hello, hello, hi everybody, welcome back. We are here, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. We are here, ready to do some more painting. Um, I have so, four mechs to do. You just saw a brief glimpse of one. <laughs> I am doing some a new weathering technique and I figured I'd, you know, show it off. See how it looks, because I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's just a thought that I have. We'll see. This is the original design of my weathering. Hard to see, okay, but I'll show it on the big on the bigger camera what the weathering is going to look like. I'm putting the two griffins side by side right now, so you can see them both, um, and we'll see just how well that works. Remember, this is Linkster Games. I'm the Linkster. We have our battle dice all ready to go, you know, for purchase. If you guys need any, they're up there at LinksterGames.com. Um, let's take a look at the painting. We'll just get right to this. So here's the two mechs. The one I originally weathered, right here. And then this guy here which is well, that's not even a freaking there we go let's do the let's do the griffin this guy here who has already been painted up but not weathered up okay you can see the stark differences between the two okay they're going to be weathered differently i am looking to do a really incredible grime effect like they've been out in the field for a very, very long time. Now, in order to do this, I have found a new technique, and I'm going to share it with you here. It uses this stuff from Pro Acryl, newish acrylic weathering medium. This is a medium, it's not a paint. This goes with a paint the paint of choice that I saw them use in the video was the pro acryl black brown I they say it can be used with any paint which means I can use it with my army painter war paints if I wanted this is an effects paint called oil stains I'm not gonna use that with the medium but I could use a dark brown from War paints, fanatic if I chose, but I'm not going to. I am actually going to do it with what they showed. Now, the way they showed is you get yourself a cup. Normally, when I'm doing my painting, I use this. It's been well used. You can see there's some residue behind, but the paints just come right out they flake right on out and they're good to go not using that today because I want to make a lot so we're gonna paint watercolors what do you mean watercolors what do you mean use more watercolors these are water-based acrylic paints So we're going to shake this thing right up. Now, these cups that I got, I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought a pack of like eight of them for $1.25. Perfect for what I need them for. So we shake this up real good. Normally I would use, and what I used on this mech here after I had painted it up and it looked like this guy here, I had just done the Newlin oil or the black wash. I just did like a black wash over it. This time we're gonna go grimy. So we're gonna take it, and I'm trying to see here, and we're just gonna put a few drops in here. Although it might help if it actually, I think, I'm not sure. 
if I am not mistaken. Hey, hey! Uh, there's a sealant on here. I forgot Pro Acryl seals their paints. And with that being the case, we'll just unseal it. Put it there. I'll recap it. I forgot that Pro Acryl seals their paints. So now, we're just going to put a bunch of this in here. That's a pretty decent amount. We'll add a little more. That's a lot of paint. Okay. A lot of paint. But, with that paint, because I'm going to do four different mechs. This one. The Wolverine. The Panther. And uh, the Raven. Those are the four I'm going to do today. But we'll start with the one. Now, this medium, when it gets put into the paint, is it makes it to where it is not. This one's also sealed. So I've got to pop that too. Makes it to where it doesn't dry fast at all. It takes its sweet time. About 15 minutes, I'd say, from what I've been here. So you want to add this into your paint. Now, it is three, four, three to one. So that one with three of this And that should be three. And then we just mix it on up. Mix it right on up. I get it on up there. Mix it in nice and good. Now this looks like a nasty brown. It just... You're going to you're going to scream when I do what I'm about to do next. One, this isn't going to make you scream. I'm gonna wipe off my my stir stick. This is a texture thing, but it's also great for te for stirring up the paints. Now, I'm going to get my big old brush, my big old fat brush here, this guy right here. And you see what this guy looks like. I am actually going to do something here. I don't normally do. I'm pulling my light that I use up and out of the way so I can see what I'm doing a little easier here. Because I'm just going to coat the brush and then this is going to go here. And you want to get it on everything. You want to coat the mini. It's a small enough mini, I can pretty much coat the upper half. Do sections. Or do the whole thing depending on the size of the unit. But I got about 15 minutes to coat this thing and look at the sludge on you. I'm just going to do, because the legs aren't all that much. I'm just going to stuff this all on, get it into the nooks and crannies, stick it everywhere. This is just sludge. And now I have a mech. This is a very, very brown. Got to get all the blue changed over. It is a very brown sludged metal. Oh, I don't have any water. This is going to hurt me. Maybe. I forgot to get water.
Doesn't take me a few seconds to just run over to the sink, grab a bucket of water, so I can rinse off this brush, because we're done with the brush for the moment. Let me get my drying pad here. Brush done. Now we move on to the other item that's part of this list of things to use, and that is these cosmetic wedges. And you just take the wedges. I'll pick up the Mac. I'm going to get paint all over my fingers. So let's pull this off. And you just take it and you wipe. You don't want to wipe too much, too hard, but you want to wipe. Wipe it down. I will have to go back in with my brush to get recesses and stuff. But when you're wiping, you don't want to use a lot of pressure on it. Okay. And I got enough of these things I can transfer because this has gotten a lot on it. And my dog does bananas because she likes to go bananas. I am going to have to get into some of these areas that it's too thick. I'm not even in frame, am I? Doesn't that help? Now another thing I could be using, and see I'm not staying in frame. Here, let me get a little closer to the tea, to the tray. Another thing I can use, and I don't have one on me. I have to go to the other room and get it. Which I will, because I can't get into these areas that I need to get into. So, watch out, girl. What's up? Rianne was shaking. There are some spaces that I can't get the wedge into, so I got to grab a Q-tip, and that will get me into those areas to hopefully get it. And I can use it, the brush again. As a matter of fact, let me get the brush, dry it up, and there we go! We have been resubscribed! Thank you so much! We love you, Lodge! Let me get this back.
that down. So I can see what the hell I'm doing here. Well, let's get in here. We're just getting rid of some of the excess because this was a lot in there. A lot. So we're trying to get rid of some of the excess. From the way this is looking, couple more wedges out. We'll have to let him dry a little bit. You know, before we add more detailing. But. I mean, that's, uh. I'm looking kind of grimy here. Yeah, he's looking kind of grimy. So let's uh, move to the next guy. Well, let's grind them on up here. Dry off the brush. All right, I guess we'll hit the Wolverine next. How is everyone on there on this fine Tuesday? Here we go. You see how beautiful he is? How pretty? Blah, 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 blah. Notice how pretty he looking now. Get it right up in those nooks. Get it right up in the crannies. Just coat everything. Get it in there. Just get that stuff up into his armpits. You know, all of that. Now he looks chocolate. Let's set him down. Let's get this brush dried out. Get the paint out of it. month streak isn't that crazy and now oh well wow. you know I almost wonder what that would be like how'd it be off the surface though It'd be the surface All right, let's let's start Wipe it off. Now remember, you don't want to press because when you press down, it's going to just take it all off and you don't want to remove it all. 
you want to leave a lot on. But when you swipe down with it, it'll give it that, you know, dripping effect or whatever. I think this one's going to turn out a lot better. I'm just using this to pull it off of his I'll grab this one maybe I'll pull it off of his windows a little bit I gotta get back in there. Get in there. Yeah. This guy is freaking grimy as all hell. Look at him. I think he looks better than the battle than the than this guy. This guy does not look too grimy. I might have to go over him again. I'm liking this. You're dry. You are clean. We're gonna dirty your ass up. Now he's looking filthy. Now he looks filthy. Let's go back to Mr. Dude here. He looks pretty good. He's still got a lot to dry. He's looking pretty good. Look at the panther. Oh, this panther looks good. I'm definitely going to see what the oil stains are going to be like, I think. But they're going to take a little bit to dry because I do have a lot of areas you can see them. I don't know if you can see me pointing, but 
like right in there. Yeah, you can see me pointing. Like in there, it's super wet. In there, along the edges, up in here, up in the shoulders, where it's there's a lot caked in. Now, granted, I probably shouldn't have used as many of these things, but being that I was doing multiple mechs, I kind of had to. Yeah. Like the Raven, he's going to take a while because he's got a lot still on him that when it dries, it'll look pretty, pretty grimy. I am touching it just a touch here. Couple of spots I wanted to hit on him. With a little too clean, a little too dirty, I mean. Remember, you don't want to use a lot of pressure because you use the pressure and it's just going to come right off. And then you got to do it all over again like I did with the Griffin. Look at that. That guy looks nice. Yeah, he does. Look at that. So we're going to let these dry. It'll be about 15 minutes before they're dry enough to look again at them. So we'll leave them underneath the lamp here and just let them dry like that. Because this guy is drying dirty. This guy is just drying to... Ugh. I like it though. And the sponges make it uneven, which is great. Because you don't want even dirt, you know? You don't want that even grime. Although you do not want to have hair. Big giant chunk of beard hair in my, on my mech. Just pulling some stuff off see what we got here see if I can get a little bit of so it doesn't look like it's stuck together you know there we go let's see if he needs any of that he does I'm not getting rid of the paint. I'm not, I'm just, there's just a lot in here. Just a lot 
in this area. I mean, it's fine that he has a lot under the armpit, but I also need it to dry enough. So, yeah. Oh, that's going to be some grime. Yeah, we'll leave that like that. What's the Wolverine looking like? Does he have any really bad areas that need to be done just take a little out of it went to a hobby lobby hobby store and picked up these guys Vienna brushes artist loft these have been working beautifully a lot better than the army painter craft for a lot cheaper half the price of this I get one of those and it's so much better. Such a good brush. Because when I painted these guys up, I used this brush. Was it this one? Not that one. It was uh, this one. This one here. I used this one. Notice how the tip is still perfect. And I used this one. It's incredible that these brushes, that brush there was like four bucks. That's it. That's all it was. Instead of this thing being like $8. And after a few uses, look at what's happened to it. I really prefer those hands down definitely I'm just going over the bases again with the black because I don't need the bases to look like they've been through the war the bases need to stay clean see pictures you know all over the place you'll see the pictures of me the final results hope you liked it thanks for stopping by like subscribe do all that fun stuff because we love to have you bye